Hi there, it's DJ B. And if you're familiar with my channel, you will have known that I released a video regarding safety in the studio. Now this video actually contained some misinformation, so I'm refilming this video. This is a topic that nobody really talks about, and I think it's really important because in the long term, you need to be protecting yourself from harmful chemicals. Taking the time to think about it, care about it, is important so that you don't injure yourself or end up with long-term health conditions later down the road. So I think the most important thing that you can have in a studio is a respirator. This is the 3M respirator mask in size medium. Size medium is considered the standard size for a normal human face. So you should definitely wear one of these when you're working with aerosol sprays, so primer and sealer airbrushing with paint, sanding, briar models, and epoxy sculpt, as well as pastel dust, which is something that you don't really think about. Your lungs may not feel affected, but in the long term you can end up with some health problems. I actually remember hearing from an artist who exposed herself to a certain type of dust from a certain type of stone, and she ended up having a huge lung condition later in life and she wished that she would have used one of these when doing her art. So this respirator is actually set up so that you can remove the filters just by twisting them off, super easy there. So this particular filter here is the 2097. This is a particulate filter, so this is for particles. So when I sand my briars, I have to use these filters for that. If you're painting and using aerosol cans, 60921 vapor filters. So you need to look for vapor. These particular ones are a complete cartridge, so when these go bad, you have to completely throw this whole thing away. You can actually get other ones where they separate and you can replace the separate parts of them. So these just lock on and twist. This was the misinformation that I used. I was representing the respirator for painting but with using these filters. And so although these are better than nothing, they're not actually technically for vapor. This is for vapor. There's a deal going on Amazon.com right now that is this mask with these particle filters and it's only $13. So that's really nothing for a lifetime of protecting your lungs. The vapor filters you have to buy separately. So all the links to these products will be in the description below so that you can purchase yourself one of these. Get yourself a respirator. Don't wait. Now when I'm working with dremeling especially and painting as well, it's important for you lady customizers to get rid of your hair. So you need to pull your hair back and get it out of your face. When using a Dremel, safety glasses. These are a must. You do not want to get a piece of plastic in your eye. They have a small enough nose piece that they don't interfere with the respirator, so I can actually wear both quite comfortably. They're not very expensive. You can get them at your local hardware store, but also optometrists carry these. That's where I got mine from. The plastic is in fact hot. So I just have this sweater that's my painting sweater. I would recommend using long sleeves when using a Dremel and full length pants. And the last thing that I use are these gloves. I've seen a lot of artists use a Dremel and they just go ham, bare fingers, and I can't do it. I use these gloves to protect my fingers and give me a little more confidence with the Dremel. Basic nitrile work gloves. I got them at a drugstore. They were like $10. And I just wear them when I'm using the Dremel so that I can hold onto the model without worrying that I'm gonna chop off my finger. These also work sort of good for the heat gun, but they do get quite hot inside too. So with a heat gun, I'm just super careful not to touch the model with my bare hands. Always use a towel. It's kind of a boring thing, but I think the respirator information is really important, and I think buying yourself a respirator is really important. Obviously, you're not going to die from a few times of pastelling or using an aerosol can. I'm not here to scare you, but I'm just saying that over prolonged time of use, you definitely want to take precaution into what you're exposing your body to. And these are chemicals that aren't great. I've read the backs of paints and I've, I've read things on art supplies that say this is dangerous, it can cause cancer, it has a bunch of chemicals in it that you shouldn't inhale. Make sure to use a well-ventilated area. Thank you so much for watching. All the products are available in the description below. Happy customizing! but being safe. But I think it looks cool. I think you look like Darth Vader. You sound like Darth Vader when you wear it. So I enjoy wearing it. It makes me feel like a legitimate artist, like I'm doing something that matters that I have to protect my lungs. You sound pretty cool in it too.